Nigeria has been battling inconsistent power supplies for decades. The infrastructure is also in need of an upgrade. The national grid collapsed at least eight times last year alone. Many citizens are hopeful that soon power could be generated 24 hours a day as a result of the government's new electricity law. Four days now we are not getting any electricity. You know, electricity helps Nigerians to generate even the companies and other things to make Nigeria to grow up. If we can implement it to make this electricity be an impact for this country, I will be very happy for it. We have good laws, but the implementation of these laws is the problem we have. So if he has signed that B into law, then it's a good one. We applaud him for that. But if it doesn't work like the other laws we have that are not working, then what, of what benefit is it to us? But if it's going to work and then the state government can queue in and generate more electricity, then that's what we need. Nigeria has a national electricity grid which distributes power to states. The new electricity law, among other things, authorizes states to issue licenses to private investors who can operate many grids and power plants within the state. The legislation prohibits interstate and transnational electricity distribution and repeals the Electric Power Sector Reform Act, which was signed by former President Olusha Gun Obasanjo in 2005. Energy experts say guaranteed power supply will lead to more investment opportunities in the country and by extension, a boom to the economy. With this breakthrough, I believe me that this dependent on foreign goods, it will go and will begin to have industries. And that will create also employment opportunity because our major problem, it's, if you look at our growth in terms of population, it's the opportunity for these young graduates that are coming out to work. Once the country begins to manufacture, it will less the pressure on the currency and it will also add more value to the Naira exchange. At the moment, Nigeria only generates about 5,000 megawatts of electricity every quarter for its national grid, which is not sufficient for its population of more than 200 million to power their homes and businesses. The World Bank says businesses lose about $29 billion annually as a result of unstable power supply. Industry analysts are calling on the government to ensure strict monitoring of investments in the sector to avoid exploitation of citizens. They say only then would the law positively impact the public and businesses. To ensure that they regulate and checkmate the excesses of the tariff and also the, uh, the, the undiscriminate uh, uh, assumption, uh, bills, and other things. So definitely the regulation body will be there to checkmate to ensure that people are not being exploited. The government says it's leaving nothing to chance. It has mandated states who will adopt the law to establish regulatory commissions and granted lawmakers the power to carry out oversight responsibilities through their committees on power. So far, Lagos, Edo, and Kaduna states, out of the 36 states in the country, have initiated electricity market laws and can independently regulate their markets. More investors are now expected in the power sector to transmit, generate and distribute uninterrupted electricity supply for citizens, businesses and their properties. The ambition is that it will lead to improved lives for the public and increased economic fortunes for the nation. Tassum Akendi, CGTN Jobs.